Hey, River Rock. Just want to give a shout out to all the men that showed up for prayer this morning at 5.30 a.m. Wow, what a powerful time and prayer it was. It's just so good to see everybody. Chris and I are really looking forward to seeing everybody this Sunday at church. Again, we're uh, reopening the, the church uh, this Sunday, May 31, 8.30 service and a 9.45 service. If you haven't pre-registered, please call the church or send an email and we would love to be able to get you pre-registered for so we can have balance attendance between the two and have social distancing as well. If you haven't received an email, uh, again, just call or email us so that we can make sure we uh, get you that information um, and just uh, let you know that you're counted and we want to make sure you get all the info as well. Well, oh, by the way, maybe check the junk email. You know, sometimes it gets over there. Well, in our reading today here in Batterson's book, you know, the reason most people don't feel a closeness to God is that they don't have a daily prayer rhythm. He says they may have a weekly rhythm of doing church, which is wonderful, but doing so in and of itself won't produce intimacy with God. Can you imagine talking with your spouse only once a week even though you both live in the same house, eat at the same table, sleep in the same bed, can you imagine the closeness? Of course not. Well, welcome to day 26 of our 40 day prayer challenge. And I'm Pastor Marv. Batterson tells us that the good news is this, God is only a prayer away. I wonder if that far distance you feel between you and God isn't really but 12 inches between your head and your heart and how it your head and your heart aren't just getting along see getting your head and your heart to be in unity to commune with God to to pray now that's the key Batterson says prayer isn't something we do with our eyes close prayer is something we do with our eyes wide open meaning we pray with an understanding prayer is in a sentence that begins with dear jesus and ends with an amen maybe maybe what we really need to do is find a way that we may commune that we may fellowship with god as we pray may we be transparent real and honest with God our Father. May we just slow down enough to hear and to listen to His voice. To just be still and know that He is God your Father who cares and loves you. If you haven't already, may you find your rhythm in your prayer life. I want to encourage you, don't give up. Just find the beat in your prayer life. It's there. You got to work for it, though. Well, Father, I pray blessing on your people. I pray, Lord, that we wouldn't just get frustrated and just quit. But, Lord, we would just be more real, more honest, and pray daily, whether it's in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, that we would just pray honestly and be real with you and you would pour out your spirit upon us. God, touch your people. Father, your will, your way, your time. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Well, I can't wait to see you. Make sure you get pre-registered. Remember, 8.30, 9.45 this Sunday. God bless.